Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today, we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP, so let's just dive in. And let's start off with this tweet here from Black Swan Capitalist. And we do see, let's clarify, the real evolution of crypto is not cryptocurrencies, it's actually the transformative infrastructure that sits underneath it, DLT. The real impact of XRP is the disruptive power it has and potential to remove all friction in the financial system. This is utility. And I really do want people to realize that when we look at a lot of what is happening around crypto, uh, the biggest thing to me around the potential behind crypto is DLT. Uh, we talk about DLT quite a bit. I do believe that multiple DLT, aka ledgers within this uh, market, will be adopted in technologically uh, and i think that it all needs to be connected we actually just talked about uh quant network with their dln uh we've seen ust which is a big big name partner with them uh to utilize dlt through a dln which means that they could choose the xrp ledger they could choose hedera they could choose any dlt out there this is huge because it does paint a picture on where we are headed we are headed to a world that is ran on dlt and it's all being connected through one massive network, meaning any of these major corporations, these large financial institutions, whatever DLT they want to utilize at that very moment, they could do that by choosing. It's all interoperable. It is going to be one of the largest technological advancements in the history of tech and even finance. And I'm very, very excited for this to actually happen. And you can definitely see the power and the potential behind something like XRP, especially as Ripple does utilize them, or I should say utilize XRP. Um, within a lot of their major uh, mechanisms, including on demand liquidity. And talking about DLT and talking about the expansion of Ledger technology, we know that the XRP Ledger has been powering a ton of use cases. One of them is issuing stablecoins. We do see as global stablecoin adoption continues, new partners like Stably Official and StasisNet are tapping into the power of the XRP Ledger to issue stablecoins. One of the biggest use cases that I've always focused on when we look at the XRP Ledger and even XRP itself is issuance of CBDCs. The XRP Ledger could issue CBDCs on a private and public basis, meaning wholesale and even retail uh, could benefit greatly from the power of the XRP Ledger. Now, stable coins are a little bit different. Um, a lot of people think that we need CBDCs. We technically don't need them. In fact, a CBDC could be, you know, really kind of work to a commercial stablecoin as well. What does that mean? Well, Quant actually utilized a perfect example of uh, Volvo. Uh, utilizing a commercial stablecoin within their internal processes to not only streamline business uh, processes, but also digitize workflows. And this has been very efficient for them. And this is outside of a CBDC. Central banks could also do this. They could issue out stablecoins, which I believe would be extremely beneficial, not only for you and me, because again, we don't really throw our privacy out the window like we could see with a CBDC. And it also streamlines the entire business model, which is very, very good and efficient. This is why stablecoins are very important to watch in this market. Stablecoins have been for the longest time taking over, uh, hitting massive amounts of money generated per year, as well as money moved. And in fact, we do see over here from this article, this does talk about stablecoins. The global stablecoin race is on. 2022 might well be remembered as the year of the stablecoin. Despite getting off to a rocky start with the implosion of Terra, the stablecoin sector rebounded to reach a new high of $1 trillion in monthly trading volume in August and has been on the agendas of the World Economic Forum and also the Committee of Payments and Market Infrastructure, as well as the U.S. regulators, as they continue to evaluate its role and impact on economic markets. As stablecoin growth continues and more use cases are explored in the broader crypto landscape, Ripple has also picked up the pace and gain traction with new partners like Stably and Stasis. Together with Ripple, they'll be tapping the XRP ledger as a fast, low-cost, and also scalable blockchain that offers clear liquidity, reliability, and interoperability advantages for stablecoin issuers. This is very beneficial. Why? Well, because of the amount of money that is moving through stablecoins. Like I said, stablecoins could easily amount to massive amounts of volume being moved per year on something like the XRP Ledger, tapping, of course, liquidity through the XRP Ledger as well. And it could bring a ton of value as well as volume to the XRP Ledger being moved every single day, every single hour. And uh, that is something substantial. And of course, 
they do talk about choosing the right blockchain and digital currency solution. They do talk about the XRP ledger. This, you know, they talk about uh, about why the XRP ledger is best suited to support stablecoins at scale, built to support the tokenization of any asset. The XRP ledger can handle a high volume of transactions that settle in mere seconds and cost only a fraction of a cent. This native token functionality also makes it easy for issuers to create, issue, and manage any asset without the need for a central intermediary. The XRP Ledger's built-in authorized trust lines feature also ensures that stablecoins and other issue tokens can only be held by accounts that the issuer themselves authorizes for an added layer of security. Meaning that the XRP Ledger is going to be the choice for most stablecoins out there, or even it should be the choice for stablecoins out there, because the integration here and also the efficiencies of this ledger um, support the future of finance. Um, I, I really do think that the XRP ledger has a ton of use case potential behind it. In fact, I think that it has unlimited untapped potential that still has yet to be realized. And it continues to see upgrades like XLS 24 NFT uh, tokenization. And I do think that we will see a lot more, like I said, stable coins being issued out on the XRP ledger because of the efficiencies behind it. And they do even mention a few things around CBDCs here. They do mention a few things around what Stably is doing, how they chose to issue its USDS stablecoin on the XRP ledger because of the liquidity and settlement at scale. Like they are preparing for ultimate liquidity and settlement scalability on the XRP ledger. This should be very exciting for you. And they are also preparing for on and off ramps for developers, institutions, and even consumers to unlock new stablecoin use cases. Very, very exciting. And we do see stepping towards a stablecoin future. As we move into 2023 and beyond, stablecoins will continue to grow in popularity and reach, but not without the right blockchain in place. Um, as banks and other financial institutions continue to explore additional stablecoin use cases, cross-chain interoperability, and the many benefits afforded by public decentralized blockchain networks will be key stepping stones on the path to the stablecoin future. Very exciting, very incredible. And also we did see a response from Community Flare, AKA Flare Community, by the way, incredible videos on uh, their channel talking about Flare Network as well as Songbird and a ton of other stuff. But we do see here, um, first off, they do mention, don't forget about Japan. And then they say the Bank of Japan has entered into coordination with three mega banks and regional banks to carry out demonstration experiments towards the issuance of the digital yen. Very exciting, like I said, a lot of people think that we need CBDCs. Commercial stablecoins could very well facilitate the same exact efficiencies of CBDCs, and it could be much more beneficial for our entire community around us, uh, meaning everyday life, because retail through a CBDC could extremely be harmed. I've talked about this many times on this channel. I've talked about the warning signs behind CBDCs, things that are already happening around the world. We need to prepare for the worst case potential with CBDCs. And the worst case potential around CBDCs is our privacy um, taken away fully and transparency not even being a thing realized around CBDCs, which could be very harmful for you and me in terms of everyday life. Also, social credit scores are um, a big thing to worry about as well. But also, as we do talk about Japan, Ripple has been making a ton of noise in Japan for so long. Going all the way back to 2021, that's when we did see, of course, the first on-demand liquidity corridor uh, open between Japan and the Philippines. Also, don't forget uh, SBI. SBI is a huge name behind Ripple. They have supported uh, Ripple for many times. That's why we do see uh, Kateo over here being mentioned and also tagged in this. Uh, he He's a huge name behind Ripple as well. He, he talks quite a bit of, of, about Ripple and XRP, even in regards to on-demand liquidity. Um, but this is actually talking about why these crypto assets will most likely continue to be adopted in fully. Crypto asset remittances use the blockchain distribute ledger. So even if the banking system stops functioning, as long as the internet is operational, remittances can continue to be used without being affected by the failure of an exchange, etc. Uh, which again is why a lot of these major um, ledger technologies are being adopted in and being realized for their value. Also, we do have things like XPOP that are being built out on the XRP ledger. Now, yes, that doesn't 100% facilitate with XRP, but it can be used utilized in the offline mode to actually facilitate remittances and payments. And also, as we do look at the XRP ledger, like I said, there's a lot more efficiency behind this uh, that is going to unlock a ton of more use cases. One of them is, of course, NFTs. We actually do see over here, our $250 million creator fund is a commitment to fostering innovation and tokenization, facilitating the creation of functional NFTs on the XRP ledger across industries. 
Learn more about the Wave 2 recipients, including uh, Cypher Projects, as well as Capital Block 1 and more. When you see over here, meet the music, sports, and gaming creators bringing their NFT projects to the XRP Ledger. Like I said, the XLS20 was a, a big game changer because that's when we've seen a lot of this go fully live. Uh, we do see the Creator Fund is a $250 million commitment to fostering innovation and tokenization, facilitating the creation of functional NFTs on the XRP Ledger and arenas like real estate, media, carbon credits, and more. And we just recently talked about real estate. It's a massive opportunity for them. Um, but we do see a ton of projects down here. So 9 Level 9, a metaverse experience that provides a unique front row seat to live and virtual concerts, productions, conferences, and award shows through NFT tickets. And uh, there's a ton of other ones down here around like the metaverse, a le leading Web3 destination for sports club fans, uh, cross metaverse avatars, NFT masters, cypher projects, like all of this is centered around like IP, digitization, um, marketplaces. I mean, this is very exciting. There's a ton of things happening on the XRP ledger. Honestly, the adoption around uh, the XRP ledger is very, very exciting. In fact, there's been over 5,000 applications that have been submitted by creators seeking to participate in Ripple's creator fund. So a ton of demand here, a massive amount of demand. Very, very exciting. I do think that at some point in time, the XRP ledger uh, is going to be a big, big game changer for the value of XRP and also the volume moving over the XRP ledger. Why? We already have seen this happen with a lot of chains. In fact, a lot of people want to tout NFTs and say like, oh, NFTs are nothing. They're, they're value valueless. The thing is, is that Solana, right? The big thing that changed Solana was the NFT marketplace going fully live out on Solana, and we've seen so much adoption of it. The difference here is the XRP ledger is extremely far more efficient than most ledgers within this space, and I've talked about this many, many times before, and the numbers are there to back it. Proven reliability, eight plus years of consistent performance over more than 63 million ledgers, which by the way, we are already at 10 plus years now and over 70 million ledgers. Very exciting. High performance as well, capable of settling thousands in transactions in seconds. I mean, you can see all the efficiencies here, very similar to XRP. And uh, I actually just talked about this in another video, talking about the, the massive amount of use cases that could be built out um, within the XRP ledger. It's very, very exciting. I do think that we will see a lot more adoption of this ledger technology. It just makes sense. And of course, I love to see XRP being at the forefront of all of this. It really kind of powers the ledger. Um, I think that we will see, like I said, a lot more adoption of this. You can check out some of the use cases already being built out on here. Uh, you can see some of what they do already power. CBDCs are mentioned down here. DeFi exchanges, cryptocurrency wallets, NFT stable coins, and even micropayments, which by the way, don't, uh, don't disregard micropayments. They're actually going to be a big um, focus point, especially going into Web3. And you can check out some of the businesses and projects running on the XRP ledger already. And they do mention all of them here. Um, incredible to see. Um, I believe that we will see a lot more names tied to this as well, uh, which will be a big, big shift in the market once we do see that. Because I, I, I do think that mass adoption of this ledger technology is inevitable. I think that when we look at DLT, it's already been taking over rapidly within the financial sector. So it's only a matter of time. And I'm very, very excited for this. I think that the $250 million uh, creator fund is one to definitely watch for. Um, I think that that's going to be a big game changer for the XRP ledger in terms of adoption, as well as for a lot more of these use cases to be fully realized in. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on. If you guys have more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As always, up to you all. Have a beautiful day. Beautiful night. If you guys are on this before, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.